Hello, my beautiful butterflies. It's been a long time since I've been back. Ignore my mess in the background. It's not actually as messy as it appears to be. But just ignore that. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, I got some music I know. I can't do anything without music. I just cannot be a functional human without music. So basically, I'm going to start out. I have this natural aloe vera soap this isn't like the best to use for what i'm using it for i'm gonna take my little squirt bottle that's broken and i'm just gonna Ooh, that's too much water but you just want to like i can't mist because this thing is broken but you just want to like mist it a little and get it like a little bit wet Ooh. and then just let it kind of like sit on there for a minute so when I'm doing that, ignore my hair. I still have to do it, obviously. I'm going to put on my face stuffs. So this is my vitamin C serum. It has hyaluronic acid in it and niacinamide, which is really good if you have like dry skin or you're starting to experience aging. And you want to make sure your hands are clean before putting anything on your skin. Anyways, then I'm going to go in with my BPT 3.1. It has benzoyl peroxide in it and tea tree oil, which I find really helps. Like, I was having some problems with acne, but when I use this stuff before any moisturizer, it doesn't cause me to break out. It like, prevents me from breaking out, which is really nice. My skin really likes it. And everything in this one, this is by Create Cosmetics. It's all natural, I'm pretty sure. Moisturizer. Oops, excuse, I use the top as a little paint palette of one of my colors, but I'm just gonna get some of that. I have cats. There's cat hair literally on every single thing that I own, and it is the most annoying thing in the world. Honestly, I love them so much, but holy shit. I'm just making a YouTube video. So, now, I'm going to take my little eyebrow. Oh, there's some cat hair on it. Wow, big surprise. Oh, wow, I'm so surprised this one's broken. You should probably use one that's not broken, because this literally bugs the shit out of me. Every time I use it, but it's all that I have right now, so whatever. Uh, so, I'm going to take my little soap. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to take my little spoolie thingy. Is this a spoolie? I don't know. I don't know what anything is. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I'm just gonna rub this around. It would work better if it wasn't broken, but it's broken, so I mean, what are you, wait, what are you gonna do about it? But yeah, so I'm just kinda like pushing it in there until it gets like flat. <sighs> you know. I'm just gonna take my hourglass, yeah, hourglass foundation here. And just take a little bit, and I just wanna like only get like the parts around my eyebrow, cause I'm gonna be obviously drawing my eyebrows on so they don't look like this. So I actually use this eyeshadow palette for my eyebrows because yeah I just I don't know I don't know why I've never brought I've never bought an eyebrow product I should probably like buy an eyebrow product do you guys see that reflecting on the wall so take my little eyeshadow and this gray color because that's the closest to my eyebrows And I'm just filling them in. Well, I went through this, like, whole thing where I was debating for a while, like, should I bleach my eyebrows? Should I not bleach my eyebrows? I don't know. And I bleached my eyebrows, and it was so awful. If I can figure it out, I'll insert a picture right here. 
but like it was really bad i like bleach fried my hair it was falling out i know like i know exactly what i did wrong too like i used the wrong developer because my hair was already too light it was just dumb it was just a it's like a stupid mistake you know but i did it anyway regardless of thinking in my head i should probably like maybe not do this but i did it anyway this eyebrow always looks like It's like the drunk ant work. Not really though, because I hate I hate I I hate my eyebrows. I don't like that best. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> what is this? What have I done to my face, honestly? Just gonna take this guy with the leftover foundation that's on here and just kind of like tidy up. Just tiny up a bit. Moving on! So I'm gonna start off with this blue base. I'm just gonna like put a little bit on the back of my hand like this. And squeeze it out. And I'll make sure I have my eyeshadow palette ready. Cause I'm never prepared for anything ever in my life ever. This is the Fade Into Hue Color Pop Palette. It's very messy covered in pigments. I don't care. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be using this color, Watermark, and I'm going to be using the Take It Easel and possibly the Kaleidoscope also. But for now, I want to apply my base. So we're going to take this like fluffy, fluffy brush and dip it in, and then I'm just going to apply it all over, yeah, all over. Putting that on there. I'm gonna do the other. I oh, gotta do one. You gotta do the other one. Can't just go around with one eye if you're looking like a stupid ass bitch. I'm just kind of like dragging this in my like this little like crevice in my nose here. If y'all can see that. Again, just want to like drag this out and kind of create the shape that I want my eyeshadow to be in. It doesn't necessarily matter if the line is in even right away because we can go in after with a wipe and just like whoosh. And Virgos are supposed to be really organized, but I swear I'm like the least organized Virgo of all. It's because I have a Cancer Moon. Blame it on the Cancer Moon. Blame it on that. You just want to make sure like when before you put on the shadow, that there's absolutely no creases at all whatsoever. Uh, I'm just gonna use this little angled brush. Normally I would use like a more defined one, but this is what I'm using right now. So I'm taking that darker like blue color watermark I also apologize like the color on this camera isn't like accurate to like the colors that these are in real life this is like an icy blue and this is like like just a darker icy colored blue and they look more like turquoise in the camera and if you get like eyeshadow on this part like don't worry you can clean that up after right now you just want to create like a shape essentially do y'all ever just like start saying a word and then you say it like over and over again because it starts sounding weird and then you say it so many times that it just like loses all meaning like any word like chair when you say like chair 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 i don't know what is language what are words how did we come to this i don't know
people online are always like, I think you're so beautiful. Oh my god, you're amazing. And I'm like, at home, like, <laughs> it was so funny. It was so funny. <laughs> now I'm gonna take this light frosty ass looking color. Take this little precision-y guy. This one. I'm just gonna take that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna like, yeah, just put it here. Literally, you guys can't see anything that I'm doing with this camera quality. Do you want to hear about a dream that I had? Totes my goats. I was like, on this floating, like, island in space, I guess? But it wasn't like an island, it was like, Somebody took a chunk of earth with like trees and bushes and grass and whatever and it was just floating like in space but everything was purple like all of the trees all of the grass were like different shades and hues of purple and like dark blue and I was like with a bunch of other people and like this plane of land was going to be destroyed or whatever and so this beautiful whale like made of light i don't know how to explain this but it was like this beautiful sky spirit and it just came down and everybody got onto the back of it and like we're all on the back of the sky spirit this beautiful whale made of light and it just flies up into the stars <laughs> and then i woke up and that was the dream <laughs> <laughs> no honestly i hate mouth sounds they make me go like, oh, oh. ASMR stuff makes me go like, oh. why? Y'all be crazy liking mouth sounds. What in the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, now that that's done, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my blue base, which I still have a little bit left on my hand. I probably, I'm definitely gonna need more, but whatever. Okay, I'm taking like a flat brush and just taking that light blue shade, which is called take it easel. I'm taking the darker blue color watermark now and I'm just pulling this darker color down to the side here where it connects kind of like to my eye. I'm just pulling that and making it kind of like a whoosh, kind of shape. I don't know if you can see what the fuck I'm doing with this camera quality. This camera quality is shit. So I'm just going to do that. On this side, you know, it's okay to be weird and strange. It's how you find your people. Honestly, like, I might do just white. I think I'm gonna do white. I'm gonna do white. All this pastel paradise glam vice cosmetics palette. And I'm just gonna use the white. It's all water based, like, so I'm just gonna take my little squirt. My little squirty poo. What should I do with this? What should I do? Should I just? I should just add some like little stars. So like when I'm trying to do like the other side, I usually like to map it out, kind of. So I'm like, see, this is like in the middle here, like the middle of this is here. So I'm going to like put a little dot. Yeah, so basically I'm just like tight lining my eyes because I just want to change the shape of them ever so slightly to kind of be more of like a sh shape than like a round so just like that and then I'm also just going to take it and put it like right here okay hi my baby beautiful butterfly <laughs> this is my beautiful friendly Lenny because I'm like walking there's banana bread here I know, it was in my freezer. It's probably not good. I want to listen to this Matthew Collins' messages. 
Because I didn't. <laughs> Hang on. I feel like I haven't slept in four years. Literally, if my lashes aren't bigger than like everybody's future, I'm not satisfied. My lashes have to be bigger than your future. Hurry up. Look at this, this guy's name, the one that sent me that is, his other names are Powerful Sausage. <laughs> is love dealer <laughs> i'm the love dealer of the powerful sausage oh my god <laughs> what kind of an ego do you have to have to call yourself the powerful sausage okay put some pants on yeah i'm gonna put some i'm not wearing pants guys don't judge me it's a no pants party it's the no pants party should we just take our pants off and move the camera <laughs> No pants on, dance off. Pants off, dance off. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, guys, this is the finished look. I hope you liked it. Yeah, it took too long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll try this on yourself. Maybe not. I don't really care. Sorry you have to pull up with my chaoticness. Love you. Bye. Love you. Love you, bitches. <laughs>